Welcome to IBC 2024. Discover game-changing innovations, explore new business models, and network with over 170 countries right here in Amsterdam. Mikael, day one of IBC, how's it going so far? It's going great. There's a lot of energy here. I mean, we are here the first day filled with expectations for what's going to come, uh, meeting customers and sales partners. Yeah, it's, so far, it looks good. Fantastic. So talk to us about NTP technology and how you're positioned in the broadcast and media industry. NTP technology has a history of doing uh, audio routers, mainly for broadcast routing. Uh, and we are, we are certainly a company that can do that. But in addition to that, we also have picked on quite a lot with our DAD brand, which is more into music recording, post-production and, and live playback. What are you showcasing here this year at IBC? We are showcasing mainly our Thundercore product line, which we have had for around one and a half year now. The latest version or addition to this one is the AX Sender. And it's the first time in, in Europe that we present this at the show. And, and it's a very, very nice audio interface and, and monitoring unit. So, Mikael, can you talk to me a little bit about the features and benefits of the products that you're showcasing here at IBC? For sure I can. So the, uh, the AX Sender is a 1U uh, audio interface, and it's, it's in the family we call Thundercore. Thundercore is a very capable Thunderbolt interface for Mac and PC and actually works with up to 256 channels at 96 kilohertz, extremely low latency, uh, even, even below 100 microseconds. So that's very stable, very low latency, and a lot of channels. Uh, in addition to that, we have the internal matrix that can route all these channels to Dante, which is in sync with the immersive, no, sorry, <laughs> with the network technologies that we generally embrace. And we also have a whole monitor control and, and, and sound control system for, for monitoring, built in uh, also for Atmos, for full immersive formats. So this is the perfect centerpiece in a production studio, both for recording and certainly for production and music yeah, generation for Atmos. Yeah, so that's the basic feature. I think um, it sounds fantastic. It, DAD has a reputation of being one of the best sounding A to D and D to A converters at all. So what, what you really, really get is a very versatile and extremely pristine interface. And uh, you know you cannot go wrong if you go that way for sure. That's really exciting. Talk to me a little bit about the trends that you're seeing unfolding in the broadcast and media industry and how you're meeting those trends. So I see two trends which are relevant for us at least. The one is certainly IP the whole infrastructure moving towards 2110 and, and AS67. And in our end, we are a lot focused on Dante, which is also a networked audio protocol. So that is, I mean, it's not a new thing, but it's still getting more and more adopted. So we see that like a networked interface system around audio equipment. The second thing is immersive audio. And has been coming for quite some years now, both with Dolby Atmos and immersive productions and playback, uh, which goes all the way to your iPhone or your sound bar at home. So that's something which, of course, needs to be made. And we see more and more of this coming, not only in film and, and sort of uh, yeah, production to that sense, music, but also into broadcast. What challenges are you seeing unfolding in the industry and how are you meeting those challenges with regards to your customers? Well, I think technology is king in many ways, even though, of course, the customer at the end is the king or the queen. Uh, but so we, we are focusing a lot of the product developments and, and trying to be on the forefront. We were that with the immersive audio, with our collaboration also with, with Avid in terms of, of, of uh, interfaces for Pro Tools and all that. And now we are certainly also, by being a Dante adopter, very well into this technology. And I think one should master the technologies, we can also do good products that are relevant for the customers. So on that note, what does the future look like for NTP technology? Well, that's a good question. Um, the future is definitely still networking. And uh, I would say making immersive more accessible for more customers and more studios where the cost point maybe is not that high. So kind of make these technologies, yeah, make them broader, make them more available. What are you personally excited about in this next chapter? Well, I love sound. I love good sound. And I, I, 
I mean, we are we are you know, vaccinated with a, like a pickup from the old gramophone. So you know, sound and a particular immersive for everybody. That's that's my vision. Fantastic! Very exciting times. Thank you so much, Mikael. Have an amazing show. Thank you very much. Thank you for stopping by. Bye bye. <laughs>